Hey guys, and welcome to HTML and CSS from scratch video, where we'll learn HTML5 and CSS3 from scratch using Visual Studio Code text editor. While video will mostly focus on HTML and CSS, we're also going to cover typical Visual Studio Code text editor setup, including nifty extensions, slick Emmet snippets, and clever keyboard shortcuts to speed up our development flow. Since video consists of more than 120 lectures, I find it a bit counterproductive to go over the whole content of the video in this intro section. So instead, why don't we take a look at a general outline of the video? Video will consist of three modules, HTML tutorial module, HTML project module, and CSS tutorial module. In our first HTML module, we will use few slides to get to know what is HTML. And as a side note, video will be hands on and slides will going to be used only very sparingly. After that, we're going to cover how to install Visual Studio Code text editor and Google Chrome browser on our local machine. And most importantly, we'll start working with HTML by learning HTML syntax and use cases. During the module, we we'll also get comfortable with multiple Visual Studio Code features to improve overall workflow. And by the end of the module, we'll be comfortable working with HTML elements. And as a result, we will progress to HTML project module, where we'll use our knowledge to build our first HTML project. Right after the project, we'll deep dive into a awesome world on CSS by first covering what in the world is CSS, multiple ways how we can add CSS to our projects, and general rules and guidelines for CSS. Then we're going to be off to the races to cover as many properties and their values as we can, including selectors and colors, units in CSS, typography, CSS box model, display options, background images, positioning, transitions, animations, and many, many more. I guess that's enough of me chatting. And why don't we learn some HTML and CSS? Now, what in the world is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And what this mumbo jumbo gibberish means is that HTML is not a programming language. It is, in fact, a markup language. Now, why HTML is so important and well worth our time learning it. You see, HTML is responsible for the structure of the web pages. And that makes HTML elements the building blocks of the web pages. HTML elements are represented by this syntax content between the tags, more precisely opening tag, which consists of the name of the element we would like to use surrounded by angle brackets following what will be displayed on the web page and then the closing tag for the element for the closing tag. We also need to add forward slash before the name of the element. So if we want a heading in our web page or web project, we would create a heading tag and write our heading. If we would want the paragraph, we would create a paragraph tag and some text that will be in our paragraph. Same would go for the link and you get an idea. Some elements, though, will not have closing tag, like, for example, image or the line break. And there will be times when you'll see for these elements with a forward slash before a closing angle bracket. While HTML5 does not require that, meaning both syntaxes are valid with and without a forward slash, for example, React, which is probably most popular JavaScript framework around today, has a stricter policy where forward slash is required. Just something to remember. Just to give you an early taste of HTML, let me open up a new browser window. And let's say that we're going to be searching for ESPN.com. Now, once we open up the URL, obviously, we have our web page. However, we can do the inspect and look at developer tools. And obviously, we're going to cover this during the course. And as you notice here, even though there's a lot of moving parts, because this is a complex page, check this out. You have all over the place the opening tag and the closing tag, meaning HTML is still responsible for the structure of this web page. And this is why it's so important to learn HTML. <laughs> 